It's not time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, but I thought I'd check in and just let you know what there is time for, which is not very much. Um, which is not to say that it won't soon be time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, but I'll get into that soon. Um, but not, actually sooner than the soon that it would be time once again for the Real People multi-game solitary mega tournament. So uh, my life has changed a lot. I'm in a new place. I have um, much longer work hours. I work about 13 hours a day, uh, give or take, depending. Um, and I have about an hour or so to myself at the, at the tail end of the day. And if I get up early, I have a little bit more time. Um, and then sometimes when the kids are asleep, I have some more time, but not really time that I can film. So I've been, I've started a blog that I can um, just kind of communicate thoughts because it's, it's, it's more time consuming to film. Um, but good news, some good news in, in the last like month I think, I've, I've been able to start uh, solo gaming again. I uh, played a game of King Philip's War, which is a fun little blast from the past. And some, I did die rolls to decide what I would play, and that's what I ended up with. Um, and in the midst of Time Agent behind me, getting a, a little more familiar with that before it becomes the, the semi-final game, uh, super fun. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm going to pick it up, put it away, though, before I finish. One, just because it's, I don't know, keep some freshness. And two, um, it'll be a while before I finish. It's a long game. It's a longer game, especially if you don't know what you're doing, which I never know what I'm doing. Um, and I get about a turn done a day. And that's a day that I'm able to come down here. Sometimes that last, you know, that hour I have isn't spent gaming. So, I, you know, more days than not. But not every day, so it would take a while. And I need to get the tournament back together. So I've... I've um, on my blog, I did some thinking about what that's going to look like, and I think I've got it all worked out. So, um, but in order to do that, I need to get these two games on the table and figure that out. These are what's coming next. It's going to be called um, Magic Star Masters. It's going to be the game. It's a combination between Mage Knight and Shadow Lord, and that's going to be really fun, I think. And that's going to conclude. Well, it might not conclude, but that's going to be a continuation of the Protestant Lake here. Those of you following the tournament, which if you're not following the tournament, there's really no reason to watch this unless um, you just want to see my sweet dungeon down here. Um, for those of you following the tournament, that's the leg with Lefty and Roadrunner and um, Bix Beetleman and Smiley, if I remember correctly. Smiley, I don't... I don't remember as well as the other three. I don't know why she doesn't stand out as much for me. Uh, maybe because she was, yeah, I don't know why. All right, so that's going on. What else? I figured out what's going to happen with the other legs. Um, but I won't go into all that right now. I just wanted to, to check in, let you know that the tournament isn't over. I didn't forget about it. It's not something I'm going to leave. Um, I guess I'd give you a little tour while we're here. It's, this room is by far not finished. I don't have outlets in here, so it's kind of on my list of to-do things either to figure out how to, I guess not figure out, but actually do it, bust through there and run some wiring down. I don't know. I don't know if anyone, is, is that, that's probably a light thing, right? Can you see that all right? I mean, you can't see that. A light outlet, not a regular outlet. But anyway, my father-in-law assures me that I'd be able to run some wires here and put some outlets there. It'd be nice to have outlets um, because it's cold. It gets cold in here, though not in the summer. It's not bad. It, it's not bad right now. We've had a a rush of warm weather in Western Washington. Um, anyway, I, I love all the shelves that the shelving that came in here. I like shelving a lot. And so it encourages me to, to stop my game buying hiatus. And so I've been purchasing more games. Um, not a lot more, but I'm a little more free with it because in my old house, space was as much of a constraint as money. Um, but now it's time is kind of my constraint. It's like I can get all these games, but then what do I do with them? Some of them are upstairs in my bedroom because I'm studying them. I, I purchased Republic of Rome, which is, is a game I've wanted for a while. Um, what else? There's a lot of like wood supplies. If anyone wants old doctor's things, this is from 
This was in the corner here. It's like magazines and old papers. This guy here. Medical World News. That's worth something to someone. That's 1966. It's in great condition. Maybe I'll keep that. But if you really want it, um, I'm sure we could arrange something. There's a giraffe. So I'm going to stop talking now because I want to put this away and I want to get started on uh, working out how I'm going to graph together Shadow Lord and Mage Knight to make Magic Star Masters.